Okay, let's get into the numbers here. Uh, the Tigers were led, as were all scores in this game, by Alec Cobre. He didn't miss a shot, so he was like our Eric Thompson from November 20th against Pacific Union. Cobre was 5 of 5 from the floor, all from beyond the arc. And he was 8 of 8 from the line, and, uh, and he just had it working tonight. Oh, pure shooter, man. he had it going. Yeah, he, he, you could tell he's a pure shooter. You know he was getting better this last trip to Alaska, uh, but tonight he was on fire. And it's good to see you come home and shoot so well because what happens is you start loving the rims, loving those nets, and it'll carry over to other home games. Yeah, I think uh, my teammates got me some open shots. Uh, they set some good screens. Um, yeah, I started out the year a little slow, but uh, I think the coaches had a lot of confidence in me to put me in. And, uh, yeah, I just had it going tonight. Sometimes it's uh, going your way. You don't miss a lot of shots. So You, you know what's better than coaches' confidence is your confidence. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot yeah. better than coaches' confidence. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you better get in and tell Coach Verrill and get you more shots next, <laughs> next game, right? Yeah. <laughs> Coach T trying to mix it up already, trying to get you a little friction between you. No, between no, you not at all, not at all. Good uh, job. <laughs> does it, uh, what's it like from a pure shooter like yourself when you're just feeling it the way you were tonight? I mean, it's got to be a pretty good feeling, and I'm sure you've had games like this where you just probably feel like you can't miss. Yeah, you're really not thinking out there. You're just kind of playing. And, um, yeah, I've had some nights like this before, not a, not a whole lot like where I just didn't miss. Uh, but, you know, I've had some nights where you, you're just coming off screens and you're not really thinking about it. You're not thinking about, uh, am I going to miss this shot? And if I do miss a shot, i got to make sure I'm, you know, locked on to making the next one. So I, I think Coach t talked about it. I thought we turned it over way too much early, and I didn't like our free throw shooting early in the game. And, and uh, there was a stretch there where we didn't score. It seemed like uh, we were on, like, 60 or something forever. It was like, you know, and we missed – we were 3-9 and nine in that little stretch from the free throw line. So – um, you know, we've been working hard on free throws, and I think it's going to be a very good free throw shooting team. So that would be the two things that um, turning the ball over too many, and you turn it over 16 times tonight. That's not like us. We got to we got to be under 12. So, but um, the one thing I really did like is I thought they had they really the second half they were real focused coming out of the locker room. Uh, before we let you go, Coach, a quick turnaround now to Idaho State, right back out on the road. What are these next couple of days going to be like from a prep standpoint? Well, we'll get right back at it tonight, actually. We've worked pretty hard on Idaho State. We're going to see a 1-1-3 matchup zone for 40 minutes. We're going to have to get our zone offense squared away really, really well. Um, and we'll work out here tomorrow. We'll leave bright and early on uh, Friday morning. We'll head up. We'll actually work out at Weber State, and then we'll drive on up into Pocatello, and we'll play at 7 and get back on Sunday. So um, we're ready for it. We'll be ready. It'll be a great test for us. they got a good team, and they're well coached, and it should be a, a fun game. All right. Coach wants to get Lampkin more shots. No, I should. He, he not Lampkin, no, uh, Cobra. Or Cobra. Yeah, you better get in and talk to Coach Ver Verla and get some more <laughs> shots. So if he goes back and asks you for more shots, <laughs> no. that's hey, a came from hey, Thomas. Hey, hey, Coach is right. I mean, he was getting open. We were calling the, we called the same play, and we came out of the, the – I was really frustrated. We came out of the timeout, and I knew they were going to zone us, and I said, we're going we're gonna to run the out-of-bounds play, and we're going to run a, a play that we called to get him a shot, and we didn't run the play. It was like, you got to be kidding me. He's hotter than heck throwing the ball. <laughs> I, did, I did. Thought he took a poor shot when they called a foul. On oh him. yeah, and I said, I said, I don't think he got fouled. That I thought it was a bailout call. And he goes, You're right. I didn't get fouled. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he have to be so honest? He is an honest <laughs> kid. I tell you what. So uh, yeah, no question. Hey, great win. Great Thank win, you. Though. Thank Thanks you. For by All right, guys. Thanks, coach.